Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutch coming right at you from Costa Rica. In today's video, we're going to chat about how to stay connected while you're in Costa Rica. Can you use your own cell phone? Phone service in Costa Rica, what's it like? We will discuss it today. First, I'll go over my suggestions. At the end, I will talk about costs and give you some tips as well. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for the last 17 years. And with my channel, I'd like to help people that are looking to travel to Costa Rica, live in Costa Rica, or who wish to travel and work online. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Now let's get straight into that. Now what I recommend and what the cheapest option is for you is to actually purchase a Costa Rica SIM card when you are here. You can actually use your own phone, so that's convenient, and you'll have a local phone number, so that's gonna be helpful in case, you know, you need to call in case of an emergency because you'll have a phone number here. Be aware though, your phone needs to be unlocked. You're not certain if it is unlocked or not, just call your provider and tell them of your plans that you wish to buy an international SIM card and they will let you know whether it's locked or unlocked. Now, where do you buy a SIM card? There are several ways. The easiest way is simply at the airport. You see, when you arrive and you go through customs and you get to the small baggage claim area, on your left, there will be a stand of a company called Claro. It's all red. It will have big signs that says, get your SIM card here. This stand is open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. So keep that in mind. That's the easiest. However, this company called Claro, if you plan on traveling all over Costa Rica, in my opinion, this company doesn't have the best coverage everywhere. The best company here is Colby. They don't have a stand at the airport, but they have offices throughout all of Costa Rica and actually close to the San Jose airport, many, many different offices. So what you can do is just, you know, like Google or use Waze, Colby, like here's a sample office here. And then, yeah, either drive there. No, obviously it depends whether you have a rental car or not. And of course, if you have a driver that picks you up, just tell them you need to stop at a call the office and it's very easy it's very quick they actually help you put the sim card in so don't worry about that do keep in mind i'm talking about uh san jose airport and surroundings at liberia airport there is no stand inside the airport uh however there is a colby office 15 minutes drive from liberia airport as I mentioned, they will help you put in the SIM card and give you explanations as to how to do it. Now, you do need to show a passport, you need to fill out some paperwork, and of course you need to pay. Now get this, it's very cheap. A SIM card is only about four or five dollars. Do you keep in mind you wanna pay in cash? And ideally you wanna pay in colonies. So once you get to the baggage claim, there's an ATM machine, so I suggest to get some local money out, which is very helpful to have along the way to have some pocket money. Now, if all of this sounds too intimidating for you, which I completely understand, it's not for everybody, I suggest just going with an international plan with your current provider. So in the United States, I understand that most of you have Verizon, at least 80% of you have Verizon, and Verizon actually has something called travel pass which is an international plan it's ten dollars a day and you can use your phone here as if you do at home so it's as easy as that and t-mobile also has an international plan just give them a call and find out about uh, the details obviously you want to keep in mind that you do not have a local number here and if you need to call your family or friends back home of course it is always an option to just use the internet there's internet everywhere at all the hotels at the airports and uh yeah you can just call them through whatsapp or whatever app it is that you use to call and just some tips here in costa rica everybody uses whatsapp so if you download WhatsApp on your phone, 
you know, you can call through WhatsApp. Most businesses actually use WhatsApp as well, so you can type. Um, it's basically anytime you have internet, you can call as you please. So I would definitely suggest using that as well. Keep in mind that here in Costa Rica, the emergency phone number as well is 911. If you come to Costa Rica without an international plan or without a SIM card, make sure to put your phone on airplane mode just to make sure that you don't get charged with any crazy fees, of roaming fees or anything like that. Now guys, if you found this video helpful, if you get anything from it at all, it really helps me out if you give me a thumbs up or even leave a comment in the section box below. That would be super duper helpful. Keep in mind, I have close to 200 videos on my channel about Costa Rica travel, Costa Rica living, hidden gems, uh, best restaurants, hotels, you name it, check them out. Subscribe to my channel. Just click on my name, click on videos. You can use the filter. I mean, I have so many subjects of videos on my channel. However, if you have a question and I don't have a video about it, feel free to leave that question in the comment section below or I will do a whole video about it. I am happy to help. And, you know, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida.